Take a moment to get comfortable. And do this at a time and place where it's easy for you to relax. And in a time and place when you won't be disturbed. And as I share a few basic instructions with you, you can begin relaxing your body, preparing yourself to just allow all of this to happen. And if you think you may fall asleep, you can sit in a chair versus lying down. It's important to trust the deeper part of your inner mind. Even if things don't initially make sense or you think you're making it up. It's important that while you're going through this process, you suspend your disbelief in the same way we do in a theater watching a play or in a movie theater watching a movie. To hold back all judgment until everything is over and you have reemerged. And while you listen to these instructions, you can easily begin the process of relaxing deeper, of letting go into a peaceful, and warm state of being. You may see things with your inner eye. You may hear things with your inner ear, feel things, or just know things. Communication with others will be mind to mind. You have this ability to go back in time. So it's important to trust yourself. And if at any time you wish to terminate the session, you may easily do so by thinking, fully awake, and then return to the present time and place. So just breathe and focus in upon a part of your body that is already comfortable. This could be your feet. It could be your earlobes. It could be a hand. But as you breathe, if you haven't already done it, just close your eyes down and focus in on this part of your body that already feels comfortable. And begin taking your mind into this part of your body that is already comfortable. This part of your body that already feels perfect. Notice the quality of this perfection And imagine you can take your whole being into this part of your body and share this feeling of perfection with your entire body so that the muscles of your body can relax deeply as you listen to my voice so that you can feel better and better with each easy breath you take so that you can go deeper with each easy beat of your heart. In a moment, I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And as I do this, I'd like you to imagine that in your mind, you are descending a beautiful marble staircase At the bottom is a beautiful and deserted beach on a perfect day. Ten, nine, eight. Taking the first three steps down the stairs. With each step you take down, with each number I count, feel free 
to drift deeper, to feel better. Seven, six, five, three more steps down, just letting go. The more you let go, the more you allow tension to drain away from your body the easier it is to relax deeply. And regardless of how deep you go into relaxation, just allowing my voice to travel with you. Four, three, two, allowing all of the muscles to turn loose as if you are shutting off switches like light switches that control the muscles flicking those switches to the off position so that for now and for a while All the power is shut down to the muscles. So the muscles can become heavy, like lead. As you sink farther and farther down into a blissful state of peace. Just listening to the sounds of my voice. One. Zero all the way down and now walking along this beautiful beach this deserted beach on this perfect day and standing upon the warm sand the cool breeze coming in off the sea over your face and see how far out over the sea to the horizon that you can see as you relax deeper feel better allow my voice to travel with you And the deeper you go, the better you feel. And you wonder, as you wander along the beach, where the sand and the water meets, at the beauty of your existence, and how deeply relaxed you may become as you travel to places you've been before so very long ago. With each step you take along the beach, feeling better, letting go. And you come upon numbers written in the sand. As though these numbers had been written with a stick. Starting with the number 1000. And you notice that right next to this number is 999. And beside that, 998, and so forth, as far as you can see down the beach. With your foot, I'd like you to gently 
erase the first number, erase the number 1000 just by gently using your foot to smooth out the sand in and around this number. And when you have erased the number, hear the word gone in your mind. Gone. As you go deeper. And now you erase the next number, 999, just by gently and smoothly using the sole of your foot to smooth out the sand in, on, and around this number. And when the number is gone, hear the word gone in your mind as you go even deeper, twice as deep as before. And keep erasing the numbers, one after the other, until you notice that they all begin to fade. They all begin to disappear because they're just not important now. And a wave comes in. It covers where the numbers used to be. And as the water recedes back into the sea, you see that all the numbers are gone. It's just clean, smooth sand. And you go twice as deep as before. Just letting go. Drifting even deeper down. To this place that feels even better. Where you feel filled with peace. Filled with tranquility. You continue walking along the beach. And just up ahead, there's a small campfire burning on the beach. You walk over to the fire. You sit down and you stare into the flames watching the fire dancing orange and red and yellow and as you stare into the flames just allow my voice to be like the voice of a trusted friend or confidant. You are now more and more just letting the outside world go for now. As you travel deeper into your inner universe, the place of your greatest power, So close your eyes and feel the eyelids becoming heavier and heavier and heavier as though they are made out of lead, heavy and leaden eyelids. Feel this as pure peace as though you had two small, cool bean bags, one resting upon each eye, gently pressing down, allowing you to go even deeper. And you know that as long as you keep tension out of your eyelids, and for as long as you keep tension out of your eyelids, 
They just won't work. And that's a nice feeling. To feel all of that tension gone. So that you can drift and sink and float. And as you go deeper, you feel more confident. You feel more secure in your inherent loving strength and power. You are strong and filled with peace now. And when we return in time to an earlier lifetime, wherever your mind takes you, you will be inherently safe and secure no matter what happens, no matter what you experience or remember. So feel your safe golden light that surrounds you now. Feel this golden light as guarding you, as the loving energy of the universe. This beautiful golden light that surrounds you. Your muscles are relaxed, soft, warm. You are content and peaceful in this deeply relaxed and wonderfully natural state. And you know that in a few moments, when I count down from three to one, that whatever life to which you return, it will be for your highest and greatest good. When I count the number one and snap my fingers, you will return to a scene from an earlier lifetime that has benefits to your present life. Three, two, drifting back in time, one, just be there now, in this earlier lifetime, and when this scene becomes clear to you, you can notice if you are standing, sitting, or lying down. And look down at your feet. And notice if you're wearing shoes or sandals or boots, or if your feet are barefoot. How are you dressed? What clothes are you wearing? And what do those clothes feel like on your body? Do they feel coarse or fine? Rough or smooth? Heavy or light? And notice where you are. Notice whether you are inside 
or outside. Notice the details of your surroundings. Whether you are alone or with others. What time of year it is. And is there anything in your environment that helps you understand the time period? Tools, implements, clothing, furniture, structures, And notice whether you are male or female. Whether you are a child or an adult. And what does it feel like to be inside this earlier body? Is the body strong or weak, healthy or sick? And notice if you are simply observing or if you're engaged in some type of activity. In a moment, I'm going to count from three down to one. And when I snap my fingers, I'd like you to move to the very best day of this life you're examining now. Three, two, and one. It's the best day of this earlier life you're examining now. Notice how you feel. What are the feelings inside in this very best day of this life you're examining now? And what makes this day so good? What's happening? How does your heart feel? How are you standing? What does your own voice sound like? And what is it about this day that makes it such a wonderful day? Are you inside or outside? Are you alone or with others? Are you doing something? Are you just being? In a moment, I'm going to count from three down to one and then snap my fingers. When I do, I'd like you to go to a scene in this earlier lifetime that illustrates the most significant relationship of this earlier lifetime. Three, two, and one. 
Be with the person with whom you had the most significant relationship in this earlier life. What makes this relationship important to you? Is it something that you're doing with this person? Is it where you are with this person? Or is it just being with them that's so important? What does it feel like to be with this person? Does this person remind you of anyone in your present life? Either the way they look the way they act, or their energy. Ask this person what your name is. What do others call you? Ask this person what year it is. Ask them, where in the world are you? What country? What kingdom? What town? What village? What city? Ask this person if there's important wisdom or advice they wish to share with you. It will be easy to remember every detail that occurs as you remember this lifetime later when your eyes open. All the details of this earlier lifetime will be crystal clear to you later when your eyes open. In a moment, I'm going to count from three down to one and snap my fingers. When I do this, you will be engaged in whatever work or profession you chiefly engaged in in your earlier lifetime. Three, two, one. Just be doing the work. Do the work you did in this earlier lifetime. And notice again, if you're inside, doing work inside. Or if you're doing work primarily outside. Are you happy doing this work? Are you unhappy? doing this work.
Why do you feel the way you feel about the work you do? And do you use some kind of tool in your work or a grouping of tools are you compensated for your work if you were paid with money see the money in your hands Notice the details of this money in your hands. When I snap my fingers, go to the moment of doing this work where you felt the most satisfaction, the most competency. Three, two, one. Notice what this feels like. Notice what you are doing and how it feels to be doing it in this moment of satisfaction with the work. Notice if you're alone or with others. And if with others how they interact with you in a moment like this. When I snap my fingers again, go to a moment of doing this work of great frustration. Three, two, one. Go to this moment of frustration or perhaps even disappointment with this work. And notice why this is happening. Notice whether it's the work itself or if it's interacting with other people in some way. Coworkers, customers, a boss, or something else. And notice if this moment of frustration, or if the earlier moment of satisfaction, is something repeated in your present life. Are these moments similar to anything in your present life? When I snap my fingers again, go to this moment of your greatest skill or capability. It may be the same moment of satisfaction, it may be different. But when I snap my fingers, go to the moment of your greatest skill or capability. Three, two, and one. Re-experience this moment where you're engaging in your greatest skill or capability. Feel it as though it's happening all over again.
What is it that makes you so good at this? Notice all the details of how you feel, what you're doing, how you're doing it. So that you may bring it back with you into your present life. Like reawakening this skill or capability. Rediscovering this skill or capability. Remembering all of the details of how you did it. To bring it back with you into your present life. When I snap my fingers again, you will go to the worst day of this previous life. Three, two, one. Just be there now in this difficult, in this worst day of your previous life. Notice where you are, who you're with, if anyone. And what exactly makes this such a difficult day? Is there something about this difficult day that you carry with you in your present life? Do you notice any patterns that might have been created or deepened here that you experience in your present life? If there is any emotion associated with this day, it's okay to release it. To allow it to leave. It's okay to release and let go of any difficult energy from this time. To let it simply drain away from your being. You can even imagine that there are small drain plugs on the soles of your feet. And that any difficult or painful energy from this day is draining away from the soles of your feet. like old, dirty motor oil draining away from an engine so that you may be free of all this. Just let it go. Let it all go. so that you may be free. And when I snap my fingers, you can go to just moments before you pass from this life. 
you're examining now. Just before the end of the life. Three, two, one. Notice if you're standing, sitting, or lying down. Notice how old you are. If you are alone, or if there are others with you, Notice if the cause of your passing is natural. Or an accident. Or violence of some kind. And let the process be smooth and peaceful as you pass through all of that and float above everything so that you can look down from a neutral place of safety and peace and calm and see everything clearly. And from this neutral place of clarity, you can form larger connections. You can understand larger lessons of that lifetime. See how the people of your life were all connected to you, to the events of your life, to decisions you made, decisions deferred, Patterns, repeated patterns. And from this perspective of safety and peace and wisdom, you may be able to incorporate new ideas incorporate new beliefs based upon your broader understanding and your deeper learning. From this higher perspective, if there is someone you need to forgive, perhaps you can release them now. From this higher perspective, if you must be forgiven, perhaps you can gently ask for forgiveness and be released. From this higher perspective, if you need to forgive yourself, Perhaps you can do this now. In a state of peace and love and tranquility. If you need to forgive yourself, 
perhaps you can do this now. When I snap my fingers again, you will be seated on the beach, staring into the campfire. Three, two, one. Just be seated on the beach, staring into the campfire at the flames filled with serenity and tranquility and wisdom. Perhaps even feeling as though a great weight has been lifted from your chest or from your shoulders. Feeling more whole and complete now. any difficult aspects of the past remain in the past at a distance, at a safe distance. And wisdom and learning from the past, insights are now fully present and utilizable in your present life. You are fully and completely at peace now. You are whole and complete. Like a great weight has been lifted from you. You make your way along the beach back to the marble steps. As I count from one to 10, you start ascending the steps so that when I count the number 10, your eyelids will flutter open like the wings of a butterfly, feeling perfect in every way. So that when your eyelids open and I count the number 10, you feel this deep sense of relief, like a great weight has been lifted. One, two, and three. Slowly and calmly, taking the first three steps back to this time and to this place. Four, five, and six. Every muscle, every nerve in your body is loose and relaxed so that you feel perfect in every way. Physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and stable and balanced and serene. Balanced physiologically, balanced emotionally, Balanced psychologically. Seven, eight, and nine, almost all the way back. Perhaps even feeling a deep sense of accomplishment, a deep sense of wonder, of optimism and excitement for your life. And on the next number I count, eyelids fluttering open as you return fully and completely to this present time and place with a perfect memory of everything that transpired. And 10, all the way back. Five, 